Hi, Jerry. Hi, Mike. Did you just get back from a trip? Yeah, we went camping. What a trip. Was it fun? Fun? That's not exactly what I'd call it. We had a lot of problems. That's too bad. What happened? It all began when we got to the campsite on Friday evening. We unloaded the car, then sat down and drank some juice. We were happy that we had chosen such a beautiful camping spot. After a while, my wife said I should go park the car. I felt in my pocket for the keys, but they weren't there. I couldn't remember where I had put them. So what did you do? I must have spent an hour or so looking for my keys. Everyone lent me a hand, but the keys were nowhere to be found. We really thought they were lost for good. Finally, I looked in the car and saw that my keys were still in the ignition. <laughs> By that time, it was dark and we still hadn't pitched the tent. We had never set up a tent before, so we read the instructions quickly. But we understood nothing of what was written there. I think we were too tired. <sighs> Luckily, someone camping nearby came to help us. Did the rest of the trip go okay? Not exactly. I had brought some newspaper and matches. So I lit the fire to cook our food. But the flames kept shooting up too high. We tried to cook some hot dogs over it, but they all burnt. Oh. When the flame died down, we cooked some more hot dogs and ate every bite. We had been so hungry. Were you able to sleep in the tent? We hardly slept all night because we got bitten by mosquitoes. When we woke up in the morning, our bodies were really itchy. Did you do anything fun with your family in the campsite? Yes, we did. On Saturday, we swam in the lake. My son hadn't swum before, so I taught him how to swim. We had so much fun. Later that day, I went out in a canoe on the lake with my daughter to catch some fish. After a little while, she felt a big tug on the line. She stood up to reel her line in, but she fell out of the canoe. I hope she knew how to swim. Yes, she's a strong swimmer. She got back in the boat and caught a huge fish. We cooked it for dinner that night. It was delicious. You won't believe what happened next. Not long after we had gone to bed, I thought I heard something growling outside. It sounded like a bear. I told my family to stay in the tent while I crept outside. Through the dark, I saw something very large and hairy. It was a big bear. He had eaten the burnt hot dogs we had left out and he was wandering around our campsite. We had made a mistake by leaving the burnt hot dogs there. We had meant to put them away in a safe place. But we completely forgot about that. The bear had been drawn to the camp by the smell. I thought the bear saw me standing there, so I froze in place. Oh no, that sounds scary. Did the bear go away? I was afraid the bear would come towards the tent, and I didn't want him to hurt my family. I ran away from the tent and into the woods, hoping the bear would follow me. Shh. 
What happened next? I'm guessing the bear didn't hurt you because you seem fine. No, he didn't hurt me and he never caught me. But believe me, I ran for my life. I hid behind the first big tree I found. The bear passed right by me, but he didn't see me. <sighs> I felt very relieved. It took me a while to calm down. I'm glad none of you got hurt. Do you think you'll go camping with your family again? Maybe, but not too soon. For our next vacation, we'll probably book a nice hotel on the beach instead. <laughs> yes, that sounds like a good idea. This experience taught me to always be prepared. I could have saved myself a lot of trouble if I had known more about camping. That's true. You should always be prepared. It was nice talking to you, Jerry, but I have to finish Max's walk. He doesn't like it when I stand around. No problem. Nice talking to you too, Mike. Let me know if you ever go camping, and I'll tell you what not to do. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.